What's going on everybody? It's surprise. So today we're bringing back an old strat in a new way. This is the deadly splash deck and I think this particular deck was uh, as I've been trying it offline uh, is actually doing quite well. So the ways that you're going to be deadly splashing primarily is either going to be by Tankalosaurus and if you can make this deadly with one of your barrel barrels uh, or your laser base alpha that makes everything in it deadly or your superpower also uh, makes all of your minions on the board deadly. So this will be basically splashing these two damage around the board and killing anything it touches uh, because it will have deadly that two damage will kill. Uh, the other creative uh, combo that we're running is going to be Space Ninja. Now, the easiest way to pull off Space Ninja is not just by putting him into the laser, laser base alpha because then they can either remove the Space Ninja or remove the laser base alpha. There's, there's a better way of even doing it, and that's with Graveyard. Play Graveyard on turn one, you play your Ninja on turn two, which by the way is a two cost four two and does splash around the board, so it's incredible value. Uh, but then you want a Deadly, and sometimes you also just have a Space Ninja on the board, it doesn't look too scary because you only have, you know, uh, let's say two brains left, and you're able to play like your Graveyard plus your Super Stench that turn and really catch opponents by surprise. Uh, this of course again hits all of the opponent's uh, plants, and... Uh, will kill them all if he has deadly if he's in an environment uh, so together with these since running all the barrel of barrels is really nice running uh, high health low attack high value cards like space time I think this could be also a good candidate for the type of competitive space time deck and not only is it going to be conjuring it works very well with the laser base alpha because uh, it will be again have strike through and be conjuring new cards it will be making all of your other conjures also uh, cost one less uh, running a couple of Quasars just to be able to play reactively. This will obviously be synergized with the space time. The superpower will cause zero. Con Man also high health, low attack, uh, impactful card, and it's very nice making this deadly. Also going to be running some Raptors for some power. Uh, if you are able to activate this, you know, even draw one or two cards and play a laser base alpha or clear the way with a bungee plumber or a fruitcake, uh, this will go face for a lot. And of course, the Cowboy, which is not only a good card in itself, but especially if you place this into Graveyard, it'll be popping out protected and then pop out with four attack. And with the Space Cowboy running around the board, uh, attacking and moving, attacking, moving with four attack and strike through is going to devastate opponents and can easily take most of their health all in one turn. Let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. The deck's win condition is a little bit weird because sometimes it's just the sheer raw tankalosaurus deadly that is just going to be hitting again and again your opponent just completely runs out of steam where you have a lot of cards on the board and they don't um all right let's get into it here <sighs> do we keep a tankalosaurus in our starting hand i think i'm gonna ditch bungee against grass knuckles one two three four all right this looks fine thank you low low liked welcome to the finally and we'll do some bets uh, the game should go pretty fast, so we can do 10 games. If you think we're going to win, 8 out of 10 vote yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry him up. We're feeling the confidence today. So I guess I'll play this on the ground. Quasar will go on heights to avoid the rumble, and then we always want the laser base alpha to be on the ground. Um, meaning we want the minion that we're laser basing first to, you know, start off in a ground plane, obviously. Looks like we're passing, but we can infinity clones. Thank you, Miguel. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name, but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Miguel. I think I'm going to do this. Pogo, Pogo Mug Warlord Plankwalker. Maybe. So we have a decision here. Should I go Quasar or should I go Dinosaur? I think, I think the Dinosaur is fine. I think I'll even do it here. We do have some tricks we want to play, so let's try to take this out sooner than later. I think I'm going to play Dry Raptor here, Dry Tinklosaurus, and then start doing some deadly some deadly fun. Strong cards, that's a good sign of him not having an answer. That's okay, because now the environment that we play gets a lot more value. Question is, how do we do that? I guess we're not going to really play the environment quite yet this uh, dry tankalosaurus is very strong uh against grass knuckles who does not deal with low attack high health means grass knuckles is really the match if we want uh <laughs> there's a few i'm not gonna even mention them because of snipers but there's a few um there's a few things that counter 
this deck pretty hard. And hopefully I'll, I'll tell you about that at the end of the video, guys. Just to throw the snipers off. No, never let them know your next move. So... It's interesting. I, I think this is an okay Quasar, and even though we theoretically want to do it after this is deadly and while he has something on the board to splash, this is proccing the block. We do, of course, have the deadly barrel and perhaps an environment this turn. Kind of depends what he does. I'll, I'll even freeze if it means keeping this alive. That is extremely okay. He's moving this here now? Uh, Alright, looks good. So we'll deadly first, and we'll freeze if we don't hit the garlic here, because we really want this thing alive. Oh my gosh, we nailed it. <laughs> so we don't freeze. Uh, I think I'm going to... Yes! And the guy just gets teased from that. Get wrecked! Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of opponents conceding. That's just how this works. If they're not able to really deal with the dead, you know... It's just really getting one really good Tankalosaurus or, like, Deadly Space Ninja shot. And the opponents get so frustrated against this. Even sometimes a couple con men, and then you just, like, play your Deadly Superpower, and they're like, okay, bye. Here's another Grass Knuckles. That's what we want to see. I'm not going to keep the Space Ninja uh, if we don't have an environment, but this is a fine, fine starting hand. Uh, I think in this one now, con man goes on heights, and that's going to be... I mean, we could go... Eh. Could go combat on the ground, space time on the ground, and then his rumble becomes a little stronger. But Quasar then can go on heights. I think I'm gonna do this, because this also plays around Spike Weed. Like, if you play space time, Spike Weed doesn't do anything. Against combat, it at least does something. You know? So we'll play our space time in two, and we'll have a great turn three play. Be Quasar at superpower strength. Again, Really nice to be playing against these grass knuckles here because it, 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 the, all, the whole the whole deck is low attack, high health. It's just how it worked out. But that's also again not a coincidence because it's synergetic with deadly. All right, how are we gonna deal with the black IP? If we play any tricks, um, the black IP messes us up here. I could try to fruit kick it. It's probably not worth it. Let's see if we can get like a lightning bolt superpower or something. That's not exactly what we want to see here. It's an okay card, but it's not going to do much here. It's going to be. We might just pass here and then play cowboy. Cowboy strength would also be nice. There's a rumble. Thank you, Void Spiral, for four months. I don't think we should be getting greedy here at all. I think we're going to pass. We'll love the Quasar to his face. And we're just going to draw a Cowboy into, again, a very another very strong card against Grass Knuckles. And, uh, you know, the, the strength will have a use later. We need a leap. We need a leap. Thank you, Void Spiral, for four months. Right. Steel Fist for 11 months. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for stopping by. <laughs> I would look like Quasar if I had a white beard. I kind of am getting the Quasar beard. Nah, his is much thinner. He's also wearing a face shield that I've noticed for the first time ever. Is that like supposed to be his a helmet he's wearing? It's not. It doesn't look like it's closed on the bottom though. It's just a face. It's like a COVID face shield. What the heck is happening here? We definitely don't play bats. Um, wow, and he rolled double threes, so the cowboy doesn't even move. It means we can like strength it next turn and get a lot of damage. I'm guessing the play is gonna end up being like. Strength and fruitcake to make it not die. <sighs> so let's not commit anything else here. Like fruitcake and whatever minion is played here means it'll be hitting Sir 6 6 and 6, which is basically just lethal. Wow, is he just moving the cowboy over? He doesn't feel like it anymore. 
He really wants it to activate this. So, right now, I'm just looking at, um... We have a play here, just just calculating damage. Well, 6-6 six, six and 2, which is going to be 14. That's a little bit off. We're always going to strength. I guess it doesn't matter. So we're going to go... Bats. My gut is hold the fruitcake for lethal. Oh, that's a, an overshoot imp is actually really good here because just don't roll threes, yes. Uh, overshoot imp is great because we're really just going to need, you know, one damage, essentially. Yeah, so the fruitcake will either be a defensive card for us not to die so we can... Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be ninja... We'll play this here, and we have Laser Basin 2 <laughs> for the absolute devastation. Rocket is okay. I think he used Rumble already, though, right? Am I just completely off in that regard? I think he's gonna want to block. This dude's going for it. Well, this doesn't really help us at all, because if you... Did he rumble? Sorry, I'm having, like, short-term memory loss. This anyway doesn't kill this one. Nah, you just free cake her. We're gonna just roll one anyway. So the only superpower that would save him... He used time to shine. I think he used rumble there, right? Yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking about. It's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> I should have played laser base for BM. It doesn't even kill the Juggernaut. Guys, the weakness of this deck is Juggernaut, obviously. Quasar's wearing a helmet from space. It's open on the bottom, though. It doesn't even look like it's closed. Look carefully, guys. Dancing in the moonlight. What in the world happens here? <sighs> Devastating. I thought I set up the YouTube stream, but I totally did not. That's annoying, but with Graveyard, you keep the, uh, the thing. Uh, this is the one we want to get Scorched, not the space time. Sorry, I'm just setting up the, uh, YouTube stream. I don't know how I forgot to do that. We need a leap! We need a leap! We definitely need a leap. Jugger D's nuts. <laughs> exactly. What? So here's a uh, Chomsilla. That's fine. Yep, so space time on heights. We'll have deadly graveyard on three, and then cowboy on four is really, really strong here. Uh, another environment. It's okay for this deck. It just means the space ninjas are better when we draw them. It's gotta still be this play, especially Captain Cucumber gets devastated by Madis. Uh, that is cool. And we're actually kind of sacking now by playing this environment. It's still worth it, but um... It, it's a little awkward now to, to play, especially with this very treasure. The playing environment here is super awkward. I'm actually not going to. We don't desperately need this cowboy to to get going right now. We have some really, really strong plays like this. We're gonna go treasure, immediate chunky chunky monkey. <laughs> you got Megazord. 
That's fun. And now we have either environments for set up for next turn. We'll have like next turn cowboy strength, so this is totally fine. Is he letting this hit his face? Oh my gosh. Yep, so it's definitely going to be this environment here. And now the... In fact, we really just have Mechasaur as the play. Guys, look at the Mechasaur. It's not even the Cowboy still. I don't care. The Mechasaur, because it's going to be in a graveyard, is completely invincible. Um, and then we'll have Quasar at the beginning of next turn, and we just pull Cell Phone Zombie out of our... But <laughs> Laser base, but no nah, this is GG. There's nothing you can do here. There's no, there's nothing Chopzilla can do that will not have his entire board completely overwhelmed next turn. You can answer this 8-4, it doesn't even matter. Thank you, Pistol Pete, for six months. Wow, what? Oh my gosh, he just sacked that. He could have gone and at least tried to go face with that, bro. Oh, this is gonna get so much worse now for him. Look at the craziness we are about to pull. That's fine. Uh, I, we can't even play like the two cards here. It's gonna be you, and then just the quakes, <laughs> just to get one more shot from this Mechasaur. That's going face. That's going here. All right. Well, you got six sun and a dream. Good luck, bro. It's not just turn five Mechasaur. That's answerable. It's it's. Graveyard Mechasaur against Chumzilla is the is the clutch here. Could this dude survive? We'll have like frenzy now. Oh. His Chumzilla superpower hits the Quasar, by the way. Yep, nice. Save lethal though. Good for him. He survived that turn. I'm so proud. Not really. Uh, I'd love to play. Oh no, and then it just hits face. Yeah, the two damage goes face guaranteed leap. <laughs> oh my god, that was devastating. Wow. Uh, highlight comp? Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? That's the real question. That was cool. They're three and a. What is the uh, bets? Fifty-nine percent voted yes. This is doing really well. Here's Rose. Let's see what we can. You kind of really have to play your hand. This is a pretty hard deck to play. Um, I'm gonna ditch this against Rose because of like shrinking violet and stuff. It's not as good. Love to get like a con man. This should be okay though. They definitely don't care to the two drop here. Infinity clones on one is always good. It's nice to save this for two till turn two because of the uh, twin sunflower counter, but you're not necessarily gonna hit it even if you save it. So it's it's we're just gonna spam, spam the rose. So again, against exactly twin sunflower, this is the play. Because then he can't even block damage. It's just so much damage going face. I guess this is right. A little bit weird valuing this over space time, but just specifically because of what the opponent can have here. We Virginia rolled. Wow. And the, we might even get a double Virginia roll here. Uh, we've, we've rolled one, 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 two so far. 
So, Quasar superpower could be a thing. We saw just a flower. Um, uh, the, the play around right now is like... We'll Shrinking Violet next turn, so we'll set this up to play on the Shrinking Violet for sure. That's a kind of a no-brainer. It's actually the reason in the tournament I used to run Raptor was to have an answer to turn four Shrinking Violet. Like, it made it a lot less good against a lot of my decks. Um, so that's okay. Cowboy, maybe in fours to actually play a little bit more around the Shrinking. It's kind of devastating if we put it here. Uh, what's the other option? No, this is fine. We'll set up, like, quasars with space-time and stuff a little later. Okay, that's that. It's okay. Honestly, though, like, what are you doing about the Infinity Clones? So far, the bone's done nothing. I'll catch a mechanic would be. Really strong here, so would a Colonel Pult, but I feel like we would have seen Colonel Pult. It just felt like this was what the opponent was going for the whole time. Was if you see the flower, the morning glory, that they're going to be going for like a a ramp play with the environment, but it's so slow. Thank you, RVG, for two months. Appreciate it. Uh, we did get an environment here, so what's the best play here? Um, honestly, my gut says. Quasard. Now nah, we'll do the Quasar next turn. W is. That's okay. I don't mind that mog at all. Space time, that's fun. Uh, not space time. Interdimensional zombie. Yeah, so a little bit of a rough melon pult here. It's kind of a three for one. And the sunflower also lives. And we can't transform this with the uh, space time, unfortunately. Goat's getting some work done. We got four damage to do. Yeah, I'm not really liking uh, the situation here. Let's see what happens with this. I could just go space time in three. Whoo! <laughs> okay. That's a very strong deadly, man. Extremely strong, wow. And we've already shown our superpower, obviously, was the Infinity Clones. Um, yeah, so this is this deadly is very fortunate. We'll probably be able to, you know, he doesn't, he looks at our hand, doesn't want us drawing, so he's probably gonna make a play in one, and the space time's gonna make the good trade there. Freeze, okay. Right now, we don't even have any deadly. Uh, no, nope. we're saving the deadly as of now. It doesn't do anything. Very odd indeed. Let's see if we can top deck like a tankless or a I mean, there's obviously deadly is the most synergetic superpower just with our entire deck, so. Uh, really nice seeing the uh, Cryo Yeti in expensive, very high impact drops, so that's nice. Thank you, Pex, for nine months. So this will go here, and we'll go with the con man. Probably shouldn't run into cool bean here. And we have freeze, and well, we're basically committing to freeze the three two because we play the con man. So I think we're still saving the deadly. It's a little bit weird. Uh, we'll have a lane to play, make a plane at next turn in lane one. There's a rocket. That's not bad at all. Just to take out some of these Rose Lake game cards. Also at a discount. <sighs> so, Goat's been played. It's... What was the last superpower? We saw... Mog, I believe, too, right? Um, so if he plays Dragon here, which is the main play, I guess the Rocket would be good, so let's not Quasar. I'm guessing Dragon and Wand. Freaking kidding me? What am I supposed to do about that? Holy crap, opponent can actually win this game now. 
And the Quasar is just dead right now. Maybe I should have spammed this deadly. Okay. My, my gut is actually to just let this happen. Nothing of this. Uh, him getting more cards. Bonus attacks don't really matter. Um, let's use these every resource we have to go face of clearing lanes and being able to go face. Can we please get a minion to play here, though? I can't even play my Quasar! I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. That was a cube from hell. Well, we need some cards in our deck, and we have Deadly already. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why we're breaking this hard. We have so many minions. It's not like we're running such a, a trick-heavy deck here. And I need just something to activate this Quasar. This is absolutely ridiculous. It is absolutely... Well, I'm gonna have to just play this now here... Just to be able to play some of the deadly barrels on it. And and the encrypt, we just need to draw some cards here. Hopefully we'll have something to rock it so we can just survive this turn. He steps playing wing nuts. That's a rocket. I'm literally just spamming these to try to get a minion here. It's so crazy what is going on. So heavily stop giving me barrel of barrels. I I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. We're so bricked. Con man is not what we needed right there. Man, chances of coming back here are just so slim. Yeah, I guess a cowboy would be nice, right? I don't know if be getting great zucchinis and cop cannons. Who even knows what else? This came from one of the Mayflowers, right? I used all of my deadlies, unfortunately. Let's see um, what we can get from this con man here, from the very treasure, I mean. The raptor. Like, clutching a deadly, maybe, from the Quasar would be nice. Hammer time. So we're just donezo my bonzo. Okay. Alright. <laughs> well. Can happen in any card game with any deck. We just break. It's alright. I don't know what happened there. With the total lack of answers that guy had, and he was just spamming like high health minions, just getting anything to be able to deadly, like a Tanklosaurus or anything, would have been great. <laughs> so. Kent's beta. Gonna look either for a con man, yeah, that's better. Really nice to start off strong. Um, I guess we really would like to see Spike Weed Sector, so playing this on ground is pretty good. Well... Okay, maybe we'll play it... Okay, if we want to play around Laser Base Alpha, Space Man's... Uh, sorry, Shrinking Violet. Space Slimes are going to be in 1 and 4, so... Okay, we'll do this in 3, then. We'd rather this get hit than the Space Slime, obviously. That's interesting. Honestly, it's just gonna have a 2-1 on the board. Like, it's cool. I took the con man away, but I'm glad he doesn't have this for the space time. It's much more impactful. Hey, brothers and sisters. Love me some Impso Misfunzo. What are you talking about? You mean Infinix? This is a lot of damage. We might have to do something about it. That's a cool ducky. I mean, I guess we can go, like, space-time into common and... Th well... 
Well, we can go space time here. Put this here. Yeah, this is probably right. And commit Ducky. <laughs> Beta supered our face. That was nice. Maybe he'll go like lane five now, just to <laughs> just to counter the ducky. That's cool. Getting a sunny shroom though. Uh, we are probably conjuring two cards here, not taking a lot of damage. So that's nice. Well, let's just like roll three and a two and get deadly. That's not too bad. Oh uh, yeah, I got two cost bounty hunter. A lot of good stuff going on right now. Um. This Yeti might be the play to clear this 2-1 here. And it's obviously giving us a pet that's doubly discounted. Yep, so this has to be right. Better than the Bounty Hunter, which we'll have to replay next turn. Let's go with this first to clear this line. Wow, we actually got a one-cost Octo, which is so cool right now. Just to be able to counter this. Man, that was crazy. 4-3, okay. <laughs> got rocketed. I think that's fine. So we'll strength this one. And yeah, this Rotobago really dies for free. It's not killing the space time. It's not killing this, so this trade still happens. I'm never getting into playing this Yeti again. And the, you know, the con man kind of kills it for free. <coughs> Moving the primal pew shooter over, I guess. Into lane four. That's a smart play. Good one. So it kind of negates the, the brute strength power, which is all right. <sighs> uh, we have a very tempting ninja deadly <laughs> play. Uh, I feel like I kind of, well, we can go two and three. It'll mess up his ramp before he dragons. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Cost fit. 90, 90, 90. Thank you so much, CrossFit. We just got brain nana hard. Ow. That's devastating. Uh, the good news is that if he dragons, we clear his board here with just the environment. So that's awesome. So let's see about spending our mana efficient. Let's see efficiently. I guess cow. Oh no, we can't go cowboy deadly. It costs four. All right, so we'll go with the uh, bounty. Looks fine. That's not. Oh, he's gonna double shrinking violet here. No. Uh, but yeah, the ninja still. Well, it might not do damage here. Can we roll a one here, please? Oh, I didn't even calculate the block meter. Yeah, we rolled the one. Then we blocked. Uh, this always benefits from being encrypted here. It'll become a 4-4. And become pretty massive. Karma 3. God damn it. Uh, the good news is he doesn't seem to have dragon. <sighs> okay. We're still okay in this game. That's when you shrink something. So... Uh, we have seven. This looks... I mean... It's a little bit of a risk. Of not having fruitcake available. Maybe I should think about this. The cowboy's pretty damn good here. Alright. And then we can environment. Wherever. Uh, it's so hard to even see what's happening right now on this board. So, which one of these would we like to not hit our face? I guess the four damage is the more devastating one, right? Uh, we also... The cowboy is really just guaranteed lethal here. It's three plus three, so I think we just win the game. I know this splash is really awkward in lane one, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's already guaranteed lethal even if we take a nap there because Cowboy always does three and three. We'll take it. The stack's actually really popping off. I'm so happy with this. 
someone sent me a deck with pirates and then like space time and and you know i kind of started with that and then i i just had this epiphany of like get rid of the it wasn't working uh the curve was too low so i was like okay either get rid of the space time get rid of the pirates and i'm like okay get rid of the pirates and then kind of just build the deck into like really space time this deck was actually not built around around tankosaurus it was built around space time then i kind of just anyway just letting you guys know my thought process yeah so this is a cool um a cool hand i don't know if the environment is really necessary here so we're gonna ditch that and look for like a deadly or just a three so that's a really really good curve against exactly colonel pulse this is a little weak but i think we'll I don't mind seeing Colonel Pult here because I mean space time is twice as good next turn. So I'll play around Spike Weed Sector and so. You're also playing into Garlic when you play in lane one. Probably playing on the ground there is overall better. Because Garlic can control a con man somewhat in lane one, but in any other lane he just <laughs> yeets. So I think space time goes in two here. We're just trying to leave space theoretically for a cowboy. Even though. We don't have it. Does Raptor go on the left side of space time or on the right side? It's the age-old question. <laughs> space time and Raptor always get fronted no matter what, so doesn't really matter. Uh, unless the opponent is running hammer, obviously no shrinking violets to worry about. Uh, unless they're running running like a lot of hammers, these uh, low again the low attack high health minions are gonna pop off against Wall Knight. I really would like to see a deadly at some point here. The cool thing also is the raptor the card he conjures now because space time's alive does get a little discount. So that's cool. Uh that little one poster will actually get value with these Sanclo services, so oh my gosh. We have to spam one of them, especially because we have three, so this is a no-brainer. A oh, wee 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 wee. <laughs> Let's see what the opponent can pull off here for five. It, a little bit not the way I want to play, because we're not playing reactively. We're literally just spamming a minion on curve every single turn, and it really allows the opponent to, um, you know, play around our stuff well, but... I think it's okay. We're, we're really getting a ton of value here. Um, so the play is going to be Tankylosaurus in one, and then uh, Cosmic Scientist in two, and that'll give us four damage just for free. <sighs> Which he's healing preemptively. It's also going to give us Raptor. Yeah, I don't really like putting the valuable Tankylosaurus in, into a 4-4. So let's put this here. This is very cool. It's just uh, over time, it's just going to be so much. There's a 5-6 Bullseye. 5 plus 6-5 Bullseye. Build the ramp. Let's see if the Cobb Cannon comes in here. This one's dying though, yeah, Cow Cannon's pretty devastating. Decided to... Why not here though? That's very strange. I don't know what he was playing around by covering... Why does he cover the Walnut and do the same play? This only had 3 health. Just a misplay by the opponent. We really would like to see Deadly here. So I think I'm going to save this for Deadly. I don't know if I'm trying to take out the space time. I don't even know what I'm trying to do right now. Go phase here and Infinity Clones defensively. It's so weird. What's your favorite card in the game? Space time's definitely up there. I feel like this is a really good application for it. See if we can block at least one of these. Yeah, we really just need deadly. We need it very badly. It's barrel of barrels. So. 4, 2, 1 is the play. Doesn't really matter where we, uh... 
it does matter a lot where these tankless services hit, and also which superpower. Uh, strike your superpower is good, it'll keep this alive. Did they both go face? Can we get some value from Tankalosaurus, please? Wow, it's enough we don't have deadly, but at least I need them to kill something. If they're going face, we're not going to have a shot in this game. Okay, so the one in lane one is going to die just to heal. We know that already. We can keep the one in lane three alive. Oh. Now what? I mean, if he's healing, I mean, I guess we'll all, huh? <laughs> Does the strike through matter? This one lives now. All right, so we'll, so we'll do this. And we'll use strike through and it matters a little bit more. We'll have a, you know, graveyard shot here. I really need a barrel of barrels though for lane one. It can get a lot done. It really should get a lot done. I mean, can we kill the cop cannon here? One time. One time. No, just face. Doesn't matter. Just keep hitting face until he dies, okay? That's how this works. Bro, come on. Oh. All right, so we'll go here and we'll cover our own environment, I suppose, and then we can bungee we top deck, so that's okay. That's fine. Play the environment game. Keep on spamming. It's more value. We're also getting... Well, I was going to say we're getting more value from this hitting face again because they're going to draw a card, but no. So... I, I mean, this bungee has to hit the six. Yeah, we have to do this. We go here... Do I set up this environment? I don't think it matters enough, so we'll save it in case he has third heal station. I mean, we're doing now two and then six next turn. <sighs> Swabby is the worst card in PvZ Heroes. Literally the worst one we could have got, right? Okay, now Bungie goes face for lethal if he can't answer this. I don't know. What, what am I going to do with this other than blocking two damage? I might as well save it, because we'll block more than two with it later. We're sitting on 15 health. It's not like desperate to block this right now. Can you please not have an answer? Please, pass. We win if you pass. Yes, guarantee lethal. <laughs> what a game, but we got it. Got the win. Crap. <laughs> what were those tangled sources, though? No, no that's going to fail count. Graveyard off. Oh man. A nice little come from behind victory too, so a good fail comp content. <laughs> Lazarus, trying your joke again. A man spills a little bit of wine on his talit. That's like a Jewish prayer shawl. Takes it to the dry cleaners. He goes back. Oh, I've heard this one before. He goes back a few days later to pick up the. I have to explain this so much. To pick up the talit and ask for the bill. So he says five hundred dollars. Said five hundred dollars. Uh, they said the wine stain was easy, but we had to undo all the knots. Guys, if you want to understand that joke, how is anyone going to find this relatable? No one knows what the, the premise of that is, why there's knots in it. <laughs> Lazarus. <laughs> it's all good. 
Lazarus, my homie. All right, we got a uh, we got a curve. Oh, I forgot to play this in middle to play around Shrinking Violet. Looks like he corrected the problem for us. It's very nice of you. So I guess we play the first one on the ground to make it look like Laser Base Alpha. Yeah, you uh, two, and then one of these. I guess if we're going for strength here, if we're thinking about really playing around Laser Base Alpha, I should, um... I mean, playing around Shrinking Violet, I guess I should probably be setting one of these up in mid, right? This teleportation zombie is tantalizing. But... I think I'm just gonna not tell... It's so weird. I, teleporting in a space-time here is... Is fine, but the qu problem is what happens next turn. I have to, I'm like preemptively, I'm prioritizing playing around the shrinking violet so hard that I'm literally just gonna do this in strength now. <laughs> Dancing in the moonlight. Oh, that's a cool card we could have ran in this deck. Yeah. It's either space ninja or nothing. Go big or go home. That's what I say. So now what? Is there a reason for us to teleportation zombie now? Like, the Tanklosaurus isn't, like, awesome here. Rocking the block would be awesome. I mean, alright. I mean, maybe it's just <laughs> Big Bubba Boy. <laughs> We should probably put more pressure on this board, right? Alright. It's Big Bubba Boy. Oh, it means we can't play our 3-1. So. Okay, guys. A Talit has the corners of it or strings that are tied into all these fancy knots for religious purposes. There. I explained the joke. Yoink! Yes! <laughs> Hit him for five. It was Shrinking Violet. It was going to be Shrinking Violet since turn two when we played that space time and he passed. <laughs> this is the only option back into the game. Guys, when you're playing this deck, just play around Shrinking Violet. That's my only advice. Wow. Yeah, I think it's just Teleportation Zombie. And like we teleport this one in. It's just so much value. So we're doing six, seven. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Um, I think I'm actually gonna do this play because of how much damage this does. This space time hitting makes this do four, so he's gonna be down to one health here. Little splash, which is okay. So we're gonna have to just tickle him. As long as we don't roll like double threes here, we'll basically have to just tickle him and he'll die. Arar. Or Barrel. Yeah, I also was experimenting at first running Barrel in this deck. It didn't work. It was too hard to activate. It was just Space Ninja, but worse, basically. It didn't need an environment. I don't know. It also clears your own minions. You end up with really wide boards. Wow, that got him back in. Dude. Like, dude. Alright, so let's say we're going face for five. We really just need two damage, so... We want to proc his block. I guess we want to clear this lane even more, though. Alright, so let's do it like... Well, do you like this and play another card next time? Um, I think this being a gravestone overall is good. Oh, I didn't realize they're splashing anyway. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I forgot that they're dying anyway. I just failed so hard. Because the gas giant kills them. I just wasted that bungee. Oh. Alright, I'll put myself in the foul count. I deserve it.
I wasn't thinking. It's clearly what's up. So that's cool here. I guess I'll play this. If he clears it, I'll I'll put something else on the board, you know. Overthinking everything as usual. Story of my freaking life. Let's go. Yeah, if he's shrinking here, I'll put con man. It'll be one. It'll be lethal anyway. It'll be one three one one guarantee. Good bounce. Good joink. <laughs> And that's okay, so now it's one, two, one. What? Why here though? It didn't make sense. So again, we're doing three, four, five. Oh, it's on. We're still not. It's still not lethal. Two, two, one. No, this anyway does as much damage as anything else does. It means we can kill this, and we win. So that's awesome. That's a cryo brain. Not awesome. Yeah, I think we're gonna win. What is the play here? We want to kill this thing, right? La, 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 la. Dancing in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, he healed again! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <laughs> that bungee would be useful here. Cryo brain is first. Okay, so now what? My gosh, this man is making the comeback of the century. So it begins. We'll get a shot from this. Yoink. Now what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. We'll use the... Is the barrel good? I can't tell if the barrel's even good. I guess we'll clear this lane, then we'll play the, the graveyard. <sighs> so much for graveyard. What is happening right now? Is he actually coming back into this? Certainly not. We need deadly. We haven't been getting our barrel of barrels or our lasers at all. Should I freeze something in case he puts a team up here? What would the team up be though? I mean, I could freeze this in case he draws two cards. It's a weird play. I think I'm gonna do it. And we'll put this here. I can play the, um... I can play the environment here, and this four damage actually goes fade. This is actually... I think this is lethal here. But I'm basically trying to freeze. It's guaranteed, anyway. And this will make it second. Oh, wait! Oh, we have the graveyard here, so it actually goes face. Okay. I think graveyard here also wins, because the three damage hits this, the two splashes, this splashes, and we go face for four. Yeah, it was guaranteed either way. <laughs> I'm kind of mad I didn't have to use the second one. But yeah, putting setting this one up in the graveyard, in this spike weave was actually a trillion IQ. It played around a bunch of things. Yes. I do say so myself. Sorry, I'm bragging. I don't know why I'm. You shouldn't say that about yourself. I have a million IQ. That's cringe. You don't want to do that, guys. Huh. Let other people tell you if you're smart. You know, don't tell people you're smart. It's cringe. All right. Um. So, after playing against a lot of nightcaps lately, I've kind of gone away from playing this on turn. One. Because you want it to be around. I'm looking at my curve right now. Alright. I'm going to play it on one. I'm going to explain. 
I like playing this on three because then even if they plant it of the grapes, they can't really do anything with it if this is alive. As opposed to now, he can just berry blast this this next turn. This is really strange. But just looking at my hand, I think Quasar on two, Quasar on three, and the fact we're running environments, we'll have a very decent chance of grabbing an environment here for turn three. So we're going to simply. Well, Zard, I just berry blast means we'll have no minion for the second Quasar this next turn. Between all the one cost environments that I'm running, it still could be cyclic, by the way. But with all the one cost environments I'm running. That's annoying. So now it's Quasar, I guess, in two, right? Again, we could go Dry Raptor here, it's just, it feels a little sad. I think slowing the game down is overall better instead of trying to get one more Dino or our Greedy. It's another Brute Strength. Icy Pepper Pro, 20 months, thank you. Here's that. So we'll... Should I Strength here, or should I... Maybe Environment 2 is, uh, or... Encrypt too, that's right. <laughs> See now we got a con man, so now if he if he does anything with the uh, environment, we kind of mess him up. I think between this and strength strength and fruitcake is gonna work. Yeah, he yeah, can't really do anything until he finds a very blessed now. Uh, he got nothing. That's awkward. Let's see what we get. We get like Zmax Super. Wow, when we pulled an environment. If you play Quades hard enough, you'll get it eventually. Um, so I think fruit caking one is pretty good. It's enough value. It kills two minions, you know, and prevents a bunch of damage to face. So, I think that's right. Still haven't spammed any of these brute strengths. It's a Kabloom there. It's not as good because Kabloom just does damage anyway. Very blasted over your life. Uh, so this is going pretty well. It's cycle cap with a lot of weird, you know, molecule and high voltage current. So, you know, kind of failed there. Did he get... Actually, he might have just gotten that from the berry. I guess he hasn't... Has he played another berry? I didn't even check to see if that's where he got that from. That's valuable info. Um, nice that we have the strengths now, because that kind of makes this cowboy... Oh, basically lethal. Oh yeah, very lethal. It'll be six and six. So this will... this makes... this is lethal. Doesn't matter which. Doesn't matter what we do. Six, two, one, bullseye. Uh, this deck is doing surprisingly, surprisingly well. This might be the first, like, really successful, um, like, deadly splash. Because we're usually running Barrel and running Shark, which is way too expensive for Infinity. You can't turn six Shark. You're gonna lose if you do that, if you're not teleporting it in, at least. Um... Yeah, so it has, like, a nice low curve, but then a bunch of four drops to really, you know... There are pretty impactful cards, even, you know, medium to late game. Uh, and yeah, man, here's Grass Knuckle. I'm not afraid of Grass Knuckles with this high health ass deck. I want to see a little bit more deadly uh, ninja. I haven't seen a ton of that. Here's Barrel Barrels. This is like the card we should be hard mulganing for every single game, I think. I guess we'll get rid of you. There's no environment. That's a hint. We can bungee, uh, obviously not forget me nuts, but um, okay. <laughs> Just thinking either Galactic Cactus or I guess even Clickby. Probably worth bungeeing in case he has a second one. There's an environment now. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this. I'm not super concerned about the uh, the two one. I'd like to draw into the Tinklosaurus now, if possible. Pretty good answer. I 
guess the cowboy's gonna go... Where is the cowboy gonna go? I should really think what my play is gonna be next turn. Like, we could cowboy somewhere. This here is okay. But if he has a photo, it kind of just dies. Like a bungee graveyard here. Be bungee graveyard into cowboy is the play. But where does the cow? Where does so we bungee this one? I guess it also conjures a card, which is pretty good. Uh, looks like it's just bungee now. Yeah, second forget me nuts was annoying indeed. Really would like to have seen something cheaper there. Our curve is a little bit high right now. This is fine. Heals it up. So cowboy one should be fine. Starts dealing with these uh the forget me nuts problem that we ignored. Starge floor. <laughs> okay. Ye freaking huh. Can we not block here? What did we even hit him? Hey there, Karma, Karma, not California. Oh, that's nice. There is a tank. This this tank is gonna be the thing that takes over the game. How do we do this exactly? Con man laser into tank deadly next turn. This looks good. Bruh. Bruh! Wow! Oh my gosh, if you have opponents with these answers, man, it's so hard. So this was turn five. Wolf we'll six next turn, which is this. Um, so I think this is fine. Oh, devastating. I don't think environmenting right now is 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 right because two six survives better. We're gonna have to do this here and hope for the oh my gosh, so devastating, just so devastating. Like what the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, when they have enough bonus, enough just bonus attack, time to shine, just every answer, every turn, man. I don't know. All right, well. The seven and two scenario. <laughs> what am I supposed to do there? I want to play the game. Grass knuckles is usually a good a good matchup, but not when not when that happens. Holy crap! This is a different grass knuckles. Name also begins with a J. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll set this up. It'll be one, two, three, four. And we'll do the comment on heights. A lot better into forget me nuts than bungee plumber. Holy moly with that. Brick! Okay. We'll spam one just for a card here, I guess. And it actually gets value, which is nice. Yeah, we gotta just draw into something here, though. Maybe... <sighs> we're either getting none of these, or each one is just conjuring the next, and we're not gonna have any minions now. I wonder if Encrypt was just better there. Can we please get a minion? Oh my gosh, if he gets another click, we were so done. Let's go, a Cowboy. This is your time. This is pretty good no matter what. Even if one ends up in the graveyard, this is totally fine. Oh, we take those. All right, all right. Uh, probably best Infinity Clones. Oh, the tank is almost here. Let's let's wait one more turn. I hope he doesn't have a blockbuster. What the? Okay, why did he play the spike weed then? This guy's just trolling, man. 
What was that play? That didn't even make sense. That wasn't even good, guys. Okay. So it's... It's Tank here. Maybe Tank in one to play around, like... Just so we don't insta-lose into, well, I guess Gatling in two is the play, right? We kind of lose to Gatling no matter what here, though, right? Let's not play around with it. It's Bananasaurus in one we should be playing around. That's at least not lethal. It's moving it here. That's okay. Because we do have the environment now. Like, I don't... with the oh, He's not going face with that, which is a little bit crazy. It's really just been so overkill. With the cards being spent. So we don't get the deadly combo. Rumble wins. We need a minion, though. That one. Three, four, five, six. So we want the space time to remain deadly. Like, if we put the space time here, we'll have to deadly this, and the deadly minion dies. This way it stays deadly. It's okay. You don't die. Can't believe we didn't pull the tank Lasaurus off. This guy's been so Why are you protecting this one? This is the only one that doesn't get hit here. It's like playing around Bungie Plumber. I don't I don't think that's right. That's a pretty nice final mission though, because that means we have like an answer to lane two next turn. Or whatever. It's just an answer. Um face, not so much. There's a block. There's deadly, but this doesn't really do anything right now. We need minions, but we'll have Bungie final mission. We just gotta dodge plant food right now. It's okay. Drag. Yeah, so it's gonna be Bungie here. Final mission like this. I, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna encrypt the space time and then deadly it next turn. I wonder if I should spend one of these right now. Because I really do need a minion. We just need not. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll encrypt. We'll, we're basically committing for deadly now. It's cowboy. Nice. We have to have the option of final missioning. See, the cowboy here doesn't do anything, so final mission is what's really going to save us. We'll, we'll probably have to end up final missioning one of these cards so, to save us here. That is actually one of the things that does not kill us in lane 2. Oh boy. In fact, now I think it's... Okay, his last superpowers... So hard now. His last superpowers... I believe he used R Root Wall and Time to Shine. So it's Holoflora. So if we, if we were to just pass here, just deadly let's say... So then we win against Whole Floor and lose against Rumble. If we final mission, yeah, we lose against Rumble anyway. We always lose against Rumble. We final mission here. Rumble does four damage. So we just pray for um We pray he gets Whole Flora. We win if he gets Whole Flora, we lose if he gets Rumble. It's that simple. It's guaranteed lethal. 
into whole floor a guaranteed loss into the rumble. I don't think there's a f no, there's no final mission that solves that. That solves the rumble problem because it's either opening up lane one or an extra ground lane. Please, Holoflora! Please! For the win! <laughs> yes, it is! He would. Yes, he got Holoflora! We won! For the bets! For the, for the whole stream! And his last two cards were Captain Cucumber. Captain Cucumber. Do you know how lucky that is that he didn't have three damage here? Wow. Oh my gosh, and we got we got the eight and two. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Man. <laughs> we nailed it. Ah. Uh... All right, guys. Should that be? Oh. Should that be? <laughs> Should that be Iowa Co? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. That was very lucky. A lucky win. Anyway, guys, that was the uh, deadly splash deck. Deck popped out. Absolutely popped up. I don't even think think I've really even showed you the full potential of these plays where you have the. Tink Lasaurus just splashing deadly and killing everything, I mean, unfortunately. Didn't get like the big ninja. We got a few of them though. We got some pretty, pretty good shots. But anyway, guys. <laughs> That's definitely going on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.